One second, one second. Okay, hopefully that's better. Of course, I'm not fully set up. Don't worry about me, guys. I'm not... Well, we'll get him in a bit. Of course, I'm never fully set up at the beginning. Especially after long breaks. <laughs> now you guys just get to watch me bumble about. Bumbling time. All right. Woo. All right, all right, all right, okay. So I figured out the wheel problem. We're gonna get that fixed. And it's gonna be ugly, but it doesn't matter. So basically the easiest fix I have is laughable, but it is use two by material instead of one by material. And here's the doors. We'll need those after a bit. And my brain goes, well, what two by material do you have? I have big old two by sixes or two by 12. Because this is just a two by 12 we ripped in half. <laughs> but I don't really want to do, I don't want to just put a 2x12 across the bottom of this because that just defeats the purpose. So what we're going to do is just make two of the, and like this will have enough material that we don't have to worry about the edge blowing out like last time. So what we need, just double checking. Okay. We're going to rip two 11 inch wide board or 11 inch long boards. Give it a little bit of a surface plane because these, this is from building my bench. You ever think I'd bring out the old yellow pine boards again, guys? We're just gonna rip two 11 inch boards, make runners, attach wheels, and call it good. For this is the way things are done. All right. Boop -ba -doop -ba -doo. Oh, come on, I saw you recognize me. Come on. Thank you. Bring her over here. Thank you. Don't look at my thin spot. It don't exist. Wait, why am I doing it this way? One second. One of these days, I'm going to remember that I build things like this for a reason. But yeah, so what we're going to do, we're going to rip a couple of these out so that we have 11 inch long boards that don't have that one knot in the middle of it. So we'll start from this side. Oh look, here's my nice right angle side. And we don't have to be too terribly accurate. But accuracy would be nice. 
All right, everyone, prepare for seasickness. Hey, O'Marley, Life and Pain, how are you guys doing? All right. We would like a cross cut. And we're definitely going to want good old number four in a bit. So, cross cut number four. I'm in a better mood than I was last week. <laughs> last week was kind of one of those everything was kind of spiraling out of control then. But we are so close to the end, I can taste it. Still very close. We're gonna pick you up and get you out this way. So I'm not running into you every five seconds. Might as well do this as well. Boop, doop, doop, doop. Okay, we're back. Sorry for the seasickness. All right, should be locked in place. Let's have fun. So we basically figured out how I'm gonna do the runners for the for the wheels. I said it as stupid as it sounds. Nice easy solution of just use some of the scrap material you have from the bench some nice old southern yellow pine two by material you're not going to have any tear out issues with that because it's too dang thick and too dang stubborn So how how has you guys' this week been going? Here, let me get Mini Max in here. That way you guys at least have something good to look at, because sure as hell ain't me. <laughs> so I'm just a goofy old guy. And uh should be back to a normal schedule again, which means should be streaming Sunday again, which is normally the day I get most of the good stuff done. This is usually upkeep day. Let's get Mini Max over here. Well, as long as it doesn't come out as poison, you're good, right? Come on. Okay. And uh, for those who were here last week, you know that my shooting board is going to be replaced soon. Not because it's bad, it's still a good shooting board, but because I finally got a Lee Nielsen shooting plane and it's left it, it's a right-handed plane because after talking with them it is very evident that left-handed planes if they resume construction are distant down the future kind of thing so grabbed the right hand and said it's not going to be that hard it's going to just require a new shooting board so this one's going to become my left hand shooting board for when i really really got to do stuff or i might turn it into um i didn't think about that turn it into a miter shooting board but. I 
Hey there, slime. I was waiting for you to spam the chat. It's much harder, hotter than this now. I might have to start woodworking in uh, shorts. Maybe not wear the apron. Get a kiddie pool and do the, that whole uh, hot tub stream with a little kiddie pool at my feet. gone. I'm also in the works to make uh, a new level of uh, subscriber badge because uh, for those who've been here, subscriber badges uh, change different types of planes each time uh, you go up in a, the month increments. And I know I think I've got at least one more to make that, or Twitch has given me another one to make, so I might make that the shooting plane. break out material like this I'm like why don't I have a longer tenon saw and then I'm like ah because I normally am not cutting material this big one stretcher and by the magic of measurement there we go do, 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 do. By the end of this stream, I am hoping to have the blocks for the wheels attached, the holes for the wheels drilled, and the doors hung on the on the uh, lower compartment, so we can just finally move on to painting and then have a mobile tool chest finally have the saw bench back <laughs> put the saw bench here so it's used as a seat instead of a saw bench 
because you know that's what I use it for or I mean I used to use it for just sitting as well back in the day but also so I can use it as a saw bench all right put you back up <sighs> All right. How you doing? I don't know if you saw the pictures of, of the beast lathe yet, but it's really a tabletop lathe, even though it's got a 40 inch uh, overall length to it, to the bed. Um, I still have to like, I would have to make sure that thing is bolted securely because I can, I can just pick it up very easily it is it's a motor and a roll form <laughs> roll form steel casing but it's still something i can learn on <sighs> let's get this out of the way so i don't accidentally wreck the blade get into another sharpening here it's still sawing straight but yeah I do need to get it through another sharpening but that is very true naked carpenter I, I do need to service the teeth on this little bad boy here. But I'm in the home stretch. <laughs> and knowing that this is probably the last time I'm gonna use it on this particular project, I mean, pretty much not going to be using saws tonight. This is literally probably the last saw cut you'll see me doing tonight. How far are we? Oh, we should start hearing a density change soon. Okay, wax and put her up and make a mental note that after we paint everything, there's probably a big sharpening stream coming. 
where we just get a beer and sharpen. So that's how you do. Oh, these need sharpening. Crack a beer, get out the diamond plates, and go. But I do agree with you there, Naked. I will be servicing those saws here very soon. Not tonight, but soon. Okay. Why can't I pick that one up? Oh yeah, it's actually uh, a clamp. That would explain that. Okay. Now, where over? Where is? Go. That'll do. Just a quick clean up because these boards are old. Oh, older than my bench. In fact, they're relatives to the board they're relative to the board boards that made the bench. So they're old. I believe Mechaform and If Nails here got to see them in uh also, Chill Slime did. We got to see them in their infancy state when they were eight foot long tuba 12s. Just want to clean them up a little bit because. The junk off of them. Hey, okay. not trying to make them sexy, just getting the dirt off, basically. How you doing? Okay. So many. I I double RG. I I know you're using using them, but for whatever reason they didn't pop up. But hey, guys, thank you for the raids. Uh, Double RG, welcome on in. Uh, if you don't, for anyone who hasn't seen me or hasn't seen me lurking around uh, Owen's stuff, my name's Wes, this is Plain Old Woodworking. 90% uh, chance you're gonna see something like this, but I do a lot of uh, hand tool woodworking. I kind of just sit by the mantra of, if I've got to wear ear protection, I shouldn't be streaming it. So every, everything I do on the, on the stream, hand tools, as much as possible. Once in a while, you might see me break out an electric drill. But uh, so right now, what we're doing, how? Um, right now, what we're doing, I have this lovely, let's see if I can get it in, this lovely Dutch tool chest on my saw bench, but it's taking up 
my saw bench. So we have been building a rolly lower cabinet. And right now we're about to attach wheels and doors so that we can get to painting. All right, so, oh, and what were you working on today? And God, it's gotta be late for you. And slime, that is actually a very hilarious observation. Okay, dirt's off this side. Nice. I mean, Owen, if you want to see my 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 uh, pathetic lathe, I can bring it out here for you. Um, it's nothing to nothing to write home about. After I looked it up, it's one of those lathes that comes under very many makers. Or oh, geez, it's. Sorry, camera down, camera down. Okay, you found me, good. It, it's one of those ones that comes under a lot of makers because it's just a cheap, cheap one, but it will still work. So let's do this. Ah, bit right there. That was my fault. I activated the sub pump this time. So before we go too far, this is what my dad brought me. And really, the only thing it's ever been used for is making table legs. Big fat ugly bug oh. face baby eating O'Brien. Who did we get to follow? One second here guys, let me drop the lathe over here. So at some point in time, I'm gonna start learning how to use that bi big beast. And I mean, that right there is the proof that I do use power tools because you probably saw a bunch of other power tools in the mix. All right, have a good one, Mecca. Have a good one. All right, who was the follower? Double RJ, thank you for the follow. Okay, now that we got these, no longer insanely dirty. Boop -doo. Boop -doo. Basically, this will give us enough room to put the wheels on and not have problems. And it's thick enough that I can actually <laughs> secure it without having something go directly through uh, the baseboard. It's ugly. I don't particularly like it. it it's ugly, but it works. All right, so.
where did my straight edges go? Oh. We. Ah. All right, here we go. Now, where did the pencil go? We're just going to attempt to have it be somewhat straight. There we go. All right. So, the way this works is we just start sinking these babies home. Question is, do I land it with nails? No, because all I... Mm, I've got sixes. I do have I do have six pennies instead of four pennies. And well, when am I ever going to use these six pennies? Because I'm not a big fan of common cut nails anymore. And this is what I mean by six penny. Let me let me get this up here and common cut nail. These babies could, could hold a brick through a storm. Uh, uh, mm, no. For what we're trying to do, screws are better. Screws will be better. All right, first things first. <laughs> Let's at least mark the please don't sink a, a, na uh, a screw into this area spot. So that we can just get this guy going. All right, let me bring the old cam back up. Pedal in your projects on my stream, dear. <laughs> That's all right. Probably a good place to do it. Get this baby basically put into place. Okay, where we want you? We want you like here ish. Okay, boop a doop a doo. Oh, interesting problem. I'm sorry, officer. Get me a clamp block. There we go. Interesting problem averted.
Okay. And another strip of wood. And we'll block this one in. Same way. Do. Next. Okay, here's the drill. Okay. Ah, I love, love you, dear. Besides a very fine saw and taking your time, I also do not know. And we got to do this while Mecca's not here, otherwise I'll get chastised for using Phillips head. Instead of the superior Robertson screw. is if oh it's just mecca he, he's canadian and and they have robertson screws the uh square head ones so he likes to give me he likes to give me guff for using phillips ah uh, that's just it's just mecca being mecca God, this is why I want more space in my stuff. Okay, good, no cracks. Because then that could be right where it needs to be instead of where it is. Just gonna have like a multi-tool set up at this point.
what's going to make this even easier is if I realize that I have a drill, an egg beater drill, a drill. <laughs> Woo! We're going full force here, guys. Three tools. Little big, slightly smaller. That should do. Making sure. All right, let's get all of my drilling bits back in. Now we have a three tool setup. We have a drill, a driver, and a countersink. And I just lost one of the bits. I'm doing good today, guys. Oh, look, a nail. All right, well, we'll put the lid on this thing. We'll find that bit in a bit. All I got to do is start sweeping. <laughs> Ten percent of the way to redeeming the painting stream. Oh, that's a good question. Um, yeah, no, that redeem is for me to break out my oil paints and Bob Ross it up for an entire stream. I'm actually kind of surprised, like, uh, that nail hasn't just taken it. Okay. Do do do. Uh, do do do. I don't need this anymore because now there are two points of contact. It's not shifted. Oh, did you try to come out? You did. I mean, I can rename it. I could actually rename it right now if I wanted to. But like I said, I'm almost surprised that nail, well, I haven't seen nail in a little bit, but I would have thought nail would have immediately redeemed it. It is a spring, summer, and fall only redeem. Once it gets cold, it will disappear. It'll come back, but it will disappear because I'm not gonna sit out in the snow and do it because I will be sitting outside and doing it. I think Nail knows. Oh, 
as many times as I've brought paintings out on this stream. Okay. Let's at least start sinking them over here. Do 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 do. I forgot to ask this, uh, dear, can you get the toolbox out, well, not the toolbox, but can you get the ratchet set out of my car? anyways yeah good it's not bursting through and I know it's holding fast it's the appropriate size screw to attach a 2x4 to a thing <laughs> um, I mean just in my toolbox if you just take the top portion out of I mean, it's just a ratchet set. It'll be it'll be kind of like how the ratchet set I got you for Christmas. Yeah. It'll be a craftsman as well. ugliest solution possible like I said this is more of <laughs> more about just making it work than anything else Oh, I didn't get any into my drink that I know of. Like I said, today is kind of a very quick and easy productive day because we're just slapping things to things and getting it to the point of, it's done now. Yep, I 
I hear a slime. Okay. That's fine. That works for me. Hello. There we go. I need to be not using leftover screws that are slightly stripped. <laughs> but um, I don't know. Uh, I've still got some leftover water in the bottle up there. But that's probably about it. Not really. I mean, enjoy your save. Oh, I must have miscounted. I thought I only had nine. I've got ten? Heck yeah. That means five in each board. <laughs> yeah. Do -do -do. Oh, it's nice and humid down here. The swamp butt is happening. So we will have wheels attached tonight. Stretch goal, get the doors hung. Hello. Okay. All right, I'm envious. Going to the hardware store. Okay, that should be all of the holes drilled for these screws, at least. Do 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 do. Now yeah, let's countersink. You know what I should have done was done this all operation wise. Actually feeling good because we get to putting wheels on this baby and doors on this baby means I need I get to break out the milk paint and we have painting streams again or <laughs> a milk painting stream not the oil painting one Which I think would be interesting because from our trip to Italy, we got a lot of pictures of like villas and, and uh, lakeside stuff. That would be very interesting to paint. I am no Babe Ross. But it'd still be fun to do. Eight oh nine. Yeah, we may actually get the doors done tonight too. It may not be it. Well, <laughs> may not be a stretch goal. Okay, we'll let you just sit there for right now. 
Think you think about what you did. I can just hear Mecca now. You know, if you're using Robertson's. Push. All right. Okay, screws away. Next. You know what, I'm probably gonna ignore that line and just do this instead. Yeah, that way they're centered between the, sc the screws. I mean, I could do this still. Yeah, screw it. I'm not realigning these. Do -do. Do -do -do -do. Big boy lag screws. All right. Big boy lag screws are going to be a fun one. Sweat power. Dear, is that you hammering? If not, I'm coming upstairs and figuring that out. Okay. I thought you had already left, so I was worried. I'm sure that's a good question. Yeah, okay, we got an easy to figure out depth stop. When, I, when the groove has fully penetrated, we're done. <laughs> Ooh. Do not touch the bit. The bit is hot. The bit will burn you. Wise words from one idiot to another. That is steaming hot. Drilling holes, drilling holes. 
Okay, eight more holes to go. Eight more holes to go. Eight more holes to go. Oh, gonna be melting steel at this speed. Uh, so how's everyone's day slash week been? Anyone doing something sp special for the weekend? Most likely our neighbors are going to be doing the same thing they always do, giving us a giant fireworks display from their front lawn. Okay. All right, let's see how you do. We have a deep socket. All right, we got a deep socket version of it. Good. deep socket version it's because I know how this is going to go. Yeah, everyone a lurking, because uh, I'm a quiet boy. But what I'm doing right now, is just taking a couple inch long lag bolts and making sure 
and then I can get this bolted in with the wheels. And uh, anyone who tuned in last week knows that there was tons of interference with the wheels. And well, a nice uh, deep socket is fixing that problem. I was glad to find inch long lags though. And you don't really need them to be stupid tight. You just need them to hold. Getting them started is going to be the hardest part. No stress sounds, so it's not trying to crack or anything. That's good. Now, some of you might ask, why didn't you put the doors on before the wheels? Isn't that, wouldn't that be the smart way to go about it? And to those people, I say, hush. Come on. Just get started. There we go. That way I can... Because until it gets started, there's not enough. I guess I could get the short socket out, the, the standard socket instead of the long socket so that there's a registered face, but and the long socket is performing admirably, doing exactly what I was hoping it would do. Just bypass the wheel completely. There's about half a mil distance between the socket and the wheel bearing. Oh heck, I had a whole nother one. I could have put six into these guys. Ah, eh, five's good enough. We got one in each corner and one down the center. We good. get to the doors that may be Sunday guys in fact I'm gonna go ahead and call it and say that's Sunday but we got the wheels being attached actually after the catastrophic failure of last week so I'm okay Everything I do is kind of slow on this channel, so... Did we make progress? Yes. Did we make as much as I wanted? No. Is that a big deal? Not really. Come on. Come on. Uh, yeah, man. Maybe I will get the short socket. All right, I'm going to go get the standard socket real quick. <sighs> I 
And I'm not going to take the long socket off because no, is not how that works. Okay, well, it doesn't help. Okay, good. Good to know. Just got to get it biting. Just get biting, just get biting, biting, biting. Okay, it's standing by itself. Long socket. Activate. Like I said, this isn't the most elegant solution for putting the wheels on, but I didn't really have an elegant solution to begin with, other than maybe making a cart for the bottom portion to sit in with wheels on it. But I'm not going through that. One wheel on. All right, let's 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 get the wheels on and then call it quits. How about that, guys? We Because then it'll be somewhere around 9 o'clock, which is the usual quitting time for me. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the old stretcher. <laughs> Can you tell it didn't work out quite right? I do need to free. The wheel. I do need to free the wheel and retrieve these uh, legs because I really only have just a little bit more than enough. Like now I have enough because I just took that one out. Like I have, I think what is it? I, I have 20 and I need 16 or something like that. Yeah. Because they come in packs of fives and not fours. I'm sitting here, I'm like, most likely going to need it in fours. But whatever, that, that's how they get you. That's how they get you. Make you buy an extra cup. All right, wheel. Uh, let's uh, attach this one. Now this one, uh, while, it, while it's out here, let's get these nails out. I'm not per I'll straighten those nails later. Okay, now you can go on the scrap heap. my long socket when a problem comes along in my socket no get in there once you get it to the point where it can turn with the with a ratchet, a socket wrench, it really is the end for it. So, and taking them out and putting them back in is going to be a lot easier because there's going to actually be a threading in the hole. And these holes are slightly undersized.
Oui. Come on, just bite in there. I immediately regret <laughs> this course of action. Mainly because getting them to bite in is impossible. Wait a minute. Let's double check what I got in here. Do I have... You're either too small. Where are the other ones? I forgot about this. I have a socket driver. Screw you, sockets. Number 12 socket driver and just go to town. <laughs> Okay, well, probably still need the socket to get it all the way in, but this this actually is going to help a ton. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, we'll get it to there next and we'll get the the socket wrench actually out to do the rest of it I completely forgot about my socket drivers okay <laughs> <laughs> Socket wrench just because you get a bigger moment arm. So you know you're fully seated. And I completely forgot about my socket drivers though. to place downward force easily. Okay, those wheels are on like Donkey Kong. All right, next. So I'm getting close to the end of a project and I'm getting happy. <laughs> soon my tool, soon some of the tools that I really don't want <laughs> in the same place will no longer have to be in the exact same place. Hmm. 
Yeah, this is at least getting them started way faster. I can, I'm so sorry guys, I should have known about my dang socket driver. Okay. wheels today wheelie bench Varian, how you doing? Oh, the chat's here. They're just quiet. They're super quiet. But if you notice something, wheels are getting put onto the lower part of my chest finally. Kind of had a little bit of a hiatus. And we're back at it. Last wheel, last wheel, baby, the seed's made. I'm gonna put the last wheel, baby. All right. Okay, that's in. Yeah, um, well, all that's really left with the lower portion of the chest is putting the doors on and painting it. I am stupid happy. Starting to get nice and humid. Haven't done anything really all that intense tonight, but I am sweating. Um, it's going to be the same as the uh, upper portion of the tool chest. Give me one second here. Boop -a -doo. So. Uh, here's the upper portion. Um, I painted it, what was it, federal blue as an undercoat and then did Lexington green as the top coat. Okay. 
Uh-oh. Oh, no. Well, we know how to get this fixed. Uh-oh. That one's definitely going to need to be fixed. smart boy and go hmm I wonder why it's doing that probably because it's been shifted a good quarter of an inch haha -ha. take that Okay, so with that, Mini Max. Oh, also, a variant. Um, I think you weren't here last week, but somebody has a new shooting plane. I'm going to have to build a new shooting board for it because I am a lefty who decided to not wait forever and a day for left-handed Lee Nielsen to be remade. Um, so it is a right-handed, I do it, it is a right-handed Lee Nielsen shooting plane. Don't worry, it ain't cost any money. Um, it is a right-handed shooting plane and my shooting board currently is left-handed. So that'll get, be getting remade. I also bought the, uh, when it comes in, the uh, Lee Valley shooting board fence. So right now, this is the lower portion. It now has wheels. It has wheels. He's good. So what we have left Oh, old planes are always fun. What we have left um, like I said the only reason I did that was because picking up a Lee Nilsson is almost as expensive as getting a Stanley 51 we have left is, oh, those are some nice slick wheels. Stay, oh, mm, mm, mm. can you tell the ground is not level? No, nope, we're going to fix it the only way I know how. Yeah. <laughs> you can't roll past it if there's a Stop behind you. Ha ha ha. You can't roll back. So we need to put the, the doors on. And um, let me grab all of my. And in honor of the nice 
big long strap hinges. I got wee little strap hinges for the doors with the same little spade top on them. So I'm, I'm stupid happy about that. I'm, I'm glad that this is coming along. We're, like I said, putting on the doors and then painting. We're pretty much there. Pretty much there. Oh, okay, guys. With that, though, we are basically going to say, gonna. I've only got 15 minutes to 9, but Wednesday is usually one of those ones where we kind of quit out as er early because, well, you know, got to go work for the man in the morning. Let's see, we got, so let's see who we got. We got uh, Guitar Show Australia. We got Lone Mountain Knife Co. We got Texas, you know, the Texas Space Agency. Ooh, Cap's on. Cap's creation looks like he is turning bowls. And I like to do this anyways. Um, let's double check to see if there's any smaller uh, or unknown woodworkers before we uh, just choose one of the one of one of the friends here. Because I, I I like to spread the love. Because uh, that's how I got found. Someone just decided to, uh, and by someone I mean Way Cool Wood just raided in one day because he was raiding smaller people. And that's how I got found. But unfortunately, like, Wednesday is usually the day... Ooh, what is this? Making things and... Well, we got Dusty Cat. Uh, I don't know if he's woodworking. He's in a garage, though. Making things and breaking things. We'll come back to you in a second. Digging down further, a lot of jewelers. I mean, I'm always glad to glad to stream a variant. Um, should be back on my normal schedule again, so Wednesday nights and Sunday mornings. Okay, I think I've gone through enough of them. Let's go back to that one that I saw, see if that's just random garage stuff or if that's actually woodworking. That is random garage stuff. Okay, so we go back to here. And I think... We're going to raid into Cap. Cap's a fun one to play with, so say, say hello to my buddy Cap. <clears throat> Remember to click on the message thing, slash raid, K-A-P-P-S-K-R-E-A. -P -P -E Let's hope I can spell. All right, guys. So say hello to Cap. He's turning bowls tonight, it looks like. Um, can't wait. We're going to attach the doors next time. Maybe even like attach doors and immediately go into sanding and painting. Till then, see you guys Sunday. Have a good one.